Hi, yeah, welcome to Inner Light Yoga. My name is Carolina, and this will be a refreshing, energizing, and a challenging at times practice. So we will focus on postures that target internal organs, that create internal heat, and that help to release tension from the spine. So let's begin in a standing position with your feet hips width apart. Take a slow and deep breath through your nose and rise your arms over the head, joining the palms together. On the exhale, gently sway to the left. On the inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, sway to the right. On the inhale, come back to the center. And as you exhale, slowly lower your arms, palms facing down. Let's do it again. Inhaling, turning the palms up, rise your arms. On the exhale, sway to your left. Inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, sway to the right. Inhale to the center. And exhale, release, palms facing down. Let's do it once again. Turn the palms up. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the center. And exhale to the right. Come back to the center. Exhale, lower the arms. Okay, now close your hands into fists. So take the thumbs in, wrap the fingers around, soften your knees, and then gently sway from side to side. And here you can use a little bit of momentum. You can bend your knees and straighten your legs. That will give you a little bit more speed. Just feel your back. You notice if there is any tension, any stiffness. Feel more breaths. And come back to the center. We'll take a standing cat and cow flow. So here I'm stepping your feet a little bit wider than the hips. We'll bend the knees. Place your hands on the thighs. Don't, don't place your hands on the knees. Bring them a little bit higher above the knees. Take a few moments here. Spread the toes. Root down through the heels. And on your next inhalation, first, see if you can lift the sit bones, gently arching the back, lifting the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, drop the table, scoop it under, round the spine, and look down. Inhaling, slowly rising the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, round the spine, pull the belly in. A few more rounds here. Keep going at your own pace, synchronizing breath and movement. Let's do it again. Okay, and come back up into the standing position. Bring your feet a little bit closer so they are hips width apart. Rise your arms over the head again, and this time grab your right wrist. Press your right foot strongly into the floor. Take a deep breath, and on the exhale, sway. Hold it for a moment here. And bring awareness to your breath and see if you can make inhale and exhale equal. Come back up, hold your left wrist, press your left foot strongly into the floor and sway to the right. Come back to the center, 
and release your arms. From here, step to the top of your mat. Bring your feet together and spread the toes. Drop the tailbone, so make sure that there is space in the lumbar spine. We don't want to overarch the lower back. On the inhalation, lift the arms over the head. And as you exhale, soften your knees and here, leading with the chest, slowly fold forward. Touch the ground and step your left foot back. Lower the knee and lift your arms over the head, joining the palms together. Sway to the right. Press your hands together. Come back to the center, bring your hands to the floor, lift your left knee up and step left foot to the front. Bend in the knees on the inhalation with straight spine, slowly come up, stretch your arms out and up over the head, straighten the legs, join the palms together and release down to the heart center, release the arms. Inhale, lift your arms over the head. And on the exhale, bend your knees and fold forward from the hips. Touch the floor. Step your right foot down and release the knee. Rise your arms over the head, palms together and sway to the left. Come back to the center. Release your hands to the floor. Lift the right knee up and step forward. As you inhale, take your arms out and up over the head, straighten the legs, palms together. On the exhale, release down, release the arms. Inhale up and exhale, fold. Step your left foot back, but this time keep the left knee lifted. Engage the leg here by pressing front of the thigh up. And when you're ready, lift your arms over the head, joining the palms together, sway to the right. Hold it for a moment. Come back to the center and bring your hands to the floor. Left foot forward. As you inhale, come all the way up again, straighten the legs, join the palms. Exhale, hands to the heart and release. Inhale up and exhale fold step your right foot back and lift the arms over the head palms together sway to the left come back to the center bring your hands to the floor and step your right foot forward Deep breath, lifting your arms over the head, join the palms together. On the exhale, release the arms. Okay, let's take a chair pose from here, Utkatasana. So make sure that your feet are together, knees are touching, toes are pointing straight forward. Lift your arms up and sink with your hips back and down. Here, make sure that you are not overarching your lumbar spine. Okay, so see if you can drop the tailbone and then create a little bit more space in the chest leave the heart center upper arms by the ears reaching out through the fingertips inhale and exhale the same length go for one more deep breath on the exhale bring your hands to the floor we'll step back to downward facing dog from here so spread the fingers and step your feet back. Soften your knees here, so you don't have to keep your legs straight. That's our first downward facing dog. Focus here on aiming with the sit bones up to the ceiling to create space in the lumbar spine. Press down through the knuckles. And now slowly walk your feet forward to the hands. And join the feet together. Sing with the hips a little bit lower. Let's take chair pose again, lifting the arms up. Slow inhale and long exhale. Exhale. 
on the next out breath, touch the ground again, plant your hands, step back to downward facing dog, and attune with your breath, notice how deeply you breathe, how fast, how your breath is changing depending on the position you take. And now lower your knees to the floor and step your right foot in between the hands. Lift the arms up and bring your right hand down to the hip. Try to reach out through the fingertips of the left hand to create a little bit more space in the side of the body and then bring the elbow to the outside of the knee. Okay, when you're ready then open your chest to the right, draw the shoulder blades together and join the palms. Elbows are out in one straight line. Look over to the right. On your next inhalation, come back to the center and lift your arms over the head. Exhale, release. Spread the fingers, step back to downward facing dog. Hold it for a moment. And lower your knees again, stepping left foot in between the hands. Rising the arms up, your left hand down to the hip, reach out through the fingertips of the right hand and then bring the elbow to the outside of the knee. Open the chest to the left and then join palms of the hands together, elbows out in one straight line, look over to the left and try to control your breath. Slow inhalation through the nose, complete exhalation through the nose. Now on the next inhalation, come back to the center, lift your arms up and on the exhale, release. Step back to downward facing dog, gently paddle your feet. Okay, now look forward and bring your right foot in between the hands. Make sure that your knee is exactly above the ankle, toes are pointing forward. Engage the back leg, so pressing front of the thigh up and pressing out through the heel. When you're ready, lift your arms over the head, shoulders above the hips. Take your right hand down to the hip and then bring your left elbow to the outside of the knee. Open the chest to the right, so we are twisting from the waist and then join palms of the hands together. Gently press your elbow into the knee and knee into the elbow. Keep your back leg strong. Inhale, come back to the center, lift the arms up, exhale, release, step back to downward facing dog. Paddle your feet. Okay, and now step your left foot in between the hands. Knees align with the ankle, the back leg is straight. Lift the arms up. Take your left hand to the hip, right elbow to the outside of the knee. Okay, open the chest to the left and then join palms of the hands together. Come back to the center, take a deep breath, lift the arms up and exhale, release. Step back to downward facing dog. 
Okay, and from here you can slowly walk your feet forward to your hands. You can step them forward in between the hands, or you can lightly hop. Bring your feet together, bend the knees and take a chair pose. Leave the arms up, sink with the hips a little bit lower. Bring palms of the hands together and bring them down to the heart center. We'll take another twist here. So take your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Make sure that your knees are pointing forward. Don't push them over to the left. Keep your elbows in one straight line. Okay, and now when you're ready, I want you to shift your weight onto your right leg and step your left foot back into lunge. Stay here and breathe. Another few breaths in and out through the nose. On your next exhale, lower your left knee to the floor. On the inhale, bring your hands back to the center. Leave the arms up. And exhale, release. Step back to downward facing dog. Look forward, you can walk your feet, you can step them, or you can hop. Feet together. Inhale, chair pose, single of the hips back and down, arms up. Bring your hands together, down to the heart center, right elbow to the outside of the front knee. Gently press your elbow into the knee, knee into the elbow. Now shift your weight onto your left leg, and when you're ready, step your right foot back. Straighten the back leg, keep it strong. One more inhale, and exhale, lower right knee down. On the inhale, take your hands back to the center, leave the arms up, and release the hands. Step back to downward facing dog. Here, step your feet a little bit farther out toward the edges of the mat. Okay, and then take your left hand to the right leg so you can grab outside of the thigh, calf, or maybe ankle. Letting the chest to open to the right. So you can even bend the left elbow very gently pulling down. And release. We'll do it on the other side. Right hand back to the left leg again, outside of the thigh, calf or ankle. One more deep breath. Full exhale, and release. Step your feet a little bit closer together. Release your knees to the floor, point the toes back, and release the hips into the child's pose. You can keep your arms extended forward. You can place your hands underneath the forehead, or if you want, you can take your arms back, relaxing your shoulders. Place your hands under the shoulders and leave the chest. We'll come to the seated position from here. So here you can bring feet in front of you. Okay, I'll actually sit the other way around so you can see me better. Okay, extend your legs forward when you're ready. And bend your right knee. Keep your left foot flexed, bring right hand behind you, and just rest on the fingertips. So make sure that you're not bringing weight onto that hand. We don't want to lean back, we are just resting the hand lightly on the floor. With your left hand holding the shin, take a deep breath, extend the chest, sit a little bit taller, and then as you exhale from the waist, twist to your right and look over the shoulder. See if you can relax tops of the shoulders to create a little bit more space in the neck. A 
And as you inhale, come back to the center. Now step the foot over to the left. Keep the right left hand behind you, right hand behind you, sorry. Hold the shin, okay? That's the first version that is much easier on the spine. So if you feel some tension or stiffness, discomfort in the lower back, go for this version. If you want to go for a deeper twist, you can wrap your arm around the knee. So here again, inhaling, trying to sit a little bit taller to lengthen the spine. On the exhalation, gently twist to your right and look over the shoulder. And make sure that you can control your breath. If you can't control your breath any longer, it's a sign that you might be going too deeply into a posture. If that's the case, you can just hold the shin and take a little bit easier version of this pose. So with your next inhalation, come back to the center. Okay, and here, hold the inner arch of the foot with your left hand. Okay, so leave the foot up and we'll keep it either at 90 degree angle or you can stretch your leg fully forward if that's comfortable. Go for a deep breath again, extend the chest and as you exhale, twist. You can keep your right hand on the floor or you can lift it up, stretch it back and reach out through the fingertips. And come back to the front, release your right leg down, bend your left knee. Here, flex your right foot. So we'll begin just by holding the shin, placing left hand behind the hips. On the inhalation, lengthen the spine, draw the shoulder blades together, and as you exhale, gently twist from the waist to the left. Look over the shoulder. On the next inhale, come back to the center and step the foot over to the right. So here you can keep holding the shin or for a deeper version, you can wrap your arm around the knee. Inhale, sit taller, open the chest and as you exhale, gently twist. Relax tops of the shoulders, feel the neck. If there is tension in the neck, you don't have to turn your head back. You can keep your nose in line with the sternum. One more complete breath. Inhale and exhale through the nose. And then on an in-breath, come back to the center. Grab the inner arch of the foot with your right hand, lift it up so the leg is at 90 degree or you can fully stretch it forward. Inhale and on the exhale, twist. If you want here, you can lift your left hand off the floor, stretch it back. And release. Okay, so here let's come to the comfortable seated position. You can keep your legs extended. You can cross your legs at the shin, at the shins. You can um, sit up on the block if you have one, or you can fold the blanket if you need a little bit more support. If that's not comfortable, feel free to sit back on the heels. Just make sure that you are sitting up on the heels. The heels are not waving out. Toes are pointing back. So here, place your hands on the knees with the palms facing up. Leave the heart center and gently draw the shoulder blades together. Open the throat and close your eyes. Let go of controlling your breath. And focus on the inhalation for a moment. 
Notice expansion of your chest and abdomen. Notice the movement of the spine, shoulders. And bring awareness to the exhale. And at the very end of each exhalation, gently draw the lower belly in. Just helping to push out the air from the lungs. And notice that every time you do it, there's actually something still left in the lungs. It's impossible to exhale everything, but with the gentle pull of the lower belly, we will be able to release a little bit more of the carbon dioxide and other toxins. And bring your hands now in front of the heart center with the thumbs gently pressing back into the heart take a moment to feel how is your whole body after the practice how is your mind how is your breath And gently bow your head to the heart in gratitude to yourself for taking the time to take care of your body, mind and breath. Namaste. Thank you very much for joining me for this energizing, refreshing and detoxifying practice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment and thumb up and subscribe to Inner Light Yoga on YouTube and BeatChute. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you again.